Spoilers! Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. If you haven't seen it, bookmark this, come back. If you've seen it, three, two, one, I cannot believe we got to see Blade. Blade! I was screaming for like a. I was screaming Good for ten, like 10 seconds. 10 seconds. At least 10 seconds. We both were screaming oh for like God. it. Oh. And honestly, it was even more like cool to see mm. Ryan Reynolds and Blade. Oh and of God. course, Ryan Reynolds is going to make jokes that are going to be self aware yeah, about the definitely, situation. Definitely. I was like, yo, when it hit, it hit. <laughs> What's up, Geek Gang? What's up, Geek folks? Hope y'all good out there mm. in Geek World. That's what's up. I'm Lainey. You already know. I'm Jay. We are gonna talk about... Fully spoiler. Fully. Fully spoiler. So if you have not seen this, Don't please watch bookmark this. Don't watch it. Watch it and then come, then back. come back. Because... Right? We got a lot of stuff. Yeah. We got a lot of shit to talk about. That's a fact. The cameos alone, if you're not oh ready for God. them... Oh my goodness. Yeah. But let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Yeah, oh. um, mm -hmm. for the story, I think that that was its honest weakest point. It, yeah. it, it was its weakest point. I mm -hmm. mean, listen, I enjoyed this movie. I thought it was awesome. I thought it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. But if you really want to go to the nitty gritty. Uh, 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 you know, the story itself to me, it was, it, it didn't make sense to me. Why is because um, I'm not sure if this was a deconstruction of the timeline or if it was about um, Deadpool itself. I'm not sure exactly. It definitely wasn't it about was. that. Yeah, it, it's it definitely like, wasn't about Deadpool it, itself. Absolutely. Yeah, but, uh, and you know, it 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 kind of it kind of kind of confused me a little bit because I am I, 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 from ever since this story this this timeline thing started, I, I don't understand much of it. You yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't think you're. I don't think you're alone. Think, nah, I, I don't think I embraced it that much like how I embraced um, the the the, um, the the time stones and all the that Infinity shit, Saga. Infinity Saga. Well, I think it's because so, the Infinity Saga was extremely straightforward. Yeah. Um, and also it relied only on bits and pieces of movies, mm -hmm. especially just end credits, mm -hmm. whereas the Time Saga relies on entire seasons, mm -hmm. movies. You yeah. have to put Everything those together. One, yeah. And when you're dealing with time, <clears throat> like like when you're dealing with timey-wimey things or whatever, mm -hmm. you're dealing with time strands, you're dealing with going back in time, going future, yeah. whatever, that's pretty it hard just, to keep just, together. Yeah, it just, you know what I mean? It just, it just, <laughs> it's just confusing to me. Um, one of the things that bothered me with this, with the storyline is just the fact that um, Deadpool wanted to be in Avengers, but at the same time, he said it himself that he's not an hero. He's not a hero. He's, you know, he's like a anti-hero, whatever. So why would you want to be in Avengers? I think he just wanted, I think that that was the thought process with him trying to impress Vanessa. That, I don't th I don't know if that was him yeah, but, or himself. Yeah, but, you know, it, it's like this is a transition <clears throat> from Fox to the MCU. So how do you, you know, kind of transition him knowing about um, Avengers coming from Fox, if, if that makes sense. It, it, you I, can I mean, always explain that by the fourth wall. But, you, know, you know what I mean? Like, I, I get what you're saying, mm, but I think that it's Deadpool, right? So yeah. he's consistently knowing about things in the real world mm -hmm. and that definitely came up in every single part of the movie and, and like that that to me is a big critique like mm. you you got jokes on, on top of jokes mm -hmm. on top of jokes on never ending jokes, jokes. On top of jokes <laughs> on top of jokes and yes they were funny and most of them hit but did I, you get sorry yeah, there was not Don't know. to me because I, I'm not sure if this concluded the timeline itself, the timeline saga, the timeline. I idea. mean, I'm, I'm not I sure think, if this con concluded it. I think based on even San Diego, I think this probably did. I personally thought yeah. that it concluded with Loki season two. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? What so too. I didn't think that they were going to lean so heavily mm. on that. I thought that they were just going to be like, all right, we're going to use the TVA to take Deadpool out of 20th Century Fox and bring him into the MCU. Mm. That's how I thought it was going to be. Yeah. I didn't think it was going to be that the entire story, if you want to call it that, mm -hmm. is going to hinge on different elements of time strands 
I don't know. My head just blown up for a second. Yeah, and, and you know, <laughs> one, real, I'll be another thing you. that another thing that bothered me is that um, the, the even though you said that the movie um, Deadpool came up with a lot of jokes and everything. Uh, at, at some point, I was like, uh, yeah, the jokes just kind of get in too much. Especially, let mm-hmm. me give you an example. Um, that part where um, they captured um, Chris Evans, um, uh, Johnny Storm. And that was cool, by the that way. That was cool, whatever. We all thought he was about to be. And I told totally you like, Johnny Storm. And Deadpool was like making jokes, making jokes onto Chris Evans, um, Johnny Storm, where he got offed. You know what oh, I mean? And I'm like, it. yeah. So I was like, okay, are, are you doing this to get rid of him? Or aren't you trying to like team up or do something? Exactly. Yeah, you know I, mean? I so agree. I agree. I was like, oh, okay. The, the jokes are, and that was where I was like, okay, they, it's just too much jokes. And don't get me wrong. You know we I understand mean? he's the Merc with the mouth. So yeah. I understand that. Yeah, that's But cool. I just think that it just well, went There should have been, yeah, there, there should be like cutoff points where we allow so many jokes, but try and get to the serious point of everything. So here's the thing. You know if it wasn't joking, it was fighting. Mm, yeah. That's the thing also. Yeah. Like it was like, mm. it, it literally was, I would say 30 to 40% of him and Wolverine fighting or them fighting somebody else. And then like a good 40% of jokes. Yeah. And then actual 20% of actual story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 You definitely, know what I mean? Definitely. definitely so like, yeah. again, it's an mm-hmm. entertaining watch, but is it a cerebral watch? Mm-hmm. Absolutely not. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Another thing um, I also noticed. I no, mean, I know you it noticed is cerebral because well. I got mixed up. I <laughs> Another <laughs> thing that I noticed good. was that um, even though they had a lot of um, 20th Century Fox X-Men villains in it. They didn't they have ne- any here. They never had much X-Men in it. I was like, why? So what is that? Wh- wh- why? When you know I mean? when they did the flashback of Wolverine, mm-hmm. right? And Cassandra mm-hmm. was in his head and he was actually recalling why he felt that he let everyone down. Mm-hmm. That would have been a perfect time mm-hmm. to have your flashback, yeah. to have those stars Star in it. In and it. even yeah, if you don't yeah. want to have their faces, have like show, few, show few their, 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 not show their voices, but let us hear their voices. Mm. Something, yeah. something. It, it's like, it kind of shows some dis, dis, displeasure with the team or, mm-hmm. you know, it, it, it just didn't sit well with me knowing that the, the villains for the X-Men were there in their full by embodiment, but not the not the, the X-Men itself. And not for nothing, and y'all can comment on below because mm-hmm. I'm not sure to be honest. I much rather would have enjoyed Netflix Electra than Jennifer Garner's Electra. Yeah. Now I don't yeah. know if that's by that time Netflix had the rights to that character versus mm-hmm. they still that versus Fox still having those rights to that mm-hmm. character. But I would have enjoyed that. I thought that. Um, Shannon Tatum being as Remy LeBeau was genius, mm-hmm. okay, because there was a that lot of talk you. about and him being <laughs> Remy LeBeau. Yeah. So, like, they were very self-aware. It was similar to John Krasinski and being um, Mr. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. and mm-hmm. again, bringing back Blade and Ryan Reynolds in the same room. Oh, my God. I would have wanted to be on set for that. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah the, those cameos hit. I ain't gonna yeah, lie. Yeah, definitely. And of course, and of course, X Wing. We enjoyed, we enjoyed the cameos. The yeah. cameos were back to back, hitting, hitting, hitting. And um, it, it, it. I was like excited when I saw Channing Tatum, and that shows you that we, as comic book fans, are being, are being um, listened to. We are being um, embraced because there was a lot of talk about Channing Tatum being. Remy, um, Remy Lebo. Lebo. Mm. Um, you know, when he came out, when I saw the card came out and spin, and yeah, he, yeah, I was like, 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 oh, Mona yeah. me. That's not what he Mona said. Mona me. <laughs> you know what I mean? And um, yeah, the, 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 every, remember. all these cameos, you know, played a, a big, big part in this the enjoyment. Movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it did a big fan service for the fans itself. itself. And, you know, this was. But overall, the story itself, I would give it a six because it just didn't make sense um, to me. It was all over. And there was a lot of questions that were unanswered, basically, for me. Um, yeah. I'm between a 5.5 and a 6. Mm. So, let's say 575. 575. <laughs> 575. All right, let's get it. Okay. Yeah. Welcome anywhere. Now get the fuck out of my bar. Just give me one more drink and then I'll leave. 
I mean, uh, the acting, uh, the only thing I can say for the acting is Hugh Jackman. Thank you. Is Please start off with Wolverine. Him. I don't see no one else I really feel sorry. who would be in Wolverine's shoes. I agree. He even embodies though, Wolverine. Even though Henry, mm. Henry Cavill. Listen, even though when listen, Henry Cavill did that listen, shit. Listen, that I was channel like, itself. Oh, mm, when, when he, when that he came into that, When he came into that cam- cameo, um, when I saw him, my mind flipped back a couple, couple years well when they were like saying, okay, let Henry Cavill be Wolverine. I was like, Henry Cavill? I don't really see him as Wolverine, like nah, taking over. But then I was like rethinking it. I was like, um, I'd have to see it. Last night, that little snippet. Last night, I will be, I'll be willing to give him a chance. Did that to me. I was like, I'll be okay, willing to yeah. give him a chance. I can see him as it. I, okay. I can see him come, as Wolverine. Come to the MCU because yeah. DC did not know what they had in you. Okay, oh come my to God. DC. Let's do it. Let's do it. But um, overall, um, of course, Ryan Reynolds killed Deadpool. Um, he had, he had his own um, writing for Deadpool, which was was fucking mind blowing. Yeah, bro. it was jokes on top of jokes, and and most of them hit. Yeah, it I, wasn't just most like of them hit. him telling jokes to tell sell jokes, and it was like cricket, cricket, cricket. Yeah, most yeah, of yeah. them did hit. I will yeah, say that definitely. And he uses his his um his pedestal to kind of show you what was going on beyond the scenes of these of um yes. Marvel and everything. Mm-hmm. And he he. Everything that was um, what was said by by um, by Deadpool was basically what we've uh, been saying. A critique for everybody mm-hmm. in terms of like fan based and everything. And and yeah, the acting was good for me. I, you know I, I mean? completely agree. Mm-hmm. Um, Hugh Jackman was the highlight of yeah. this movie. Yeah. I think if you would have let his story have a little bit of air, mm-hmm. I think some of the critiques of like this ain't nothing but you know jokes and fights Mm -hmm. it would bump the storyline up yeah you know what i mean because Mm -hmm. to me honestly this was more of a wolverine movie than this ever yeah was he brought the heart it was a heart of yeah of a deadpool Mm -hmm. movie like this was like wolverine and deadpool not deadpool and wolverine Wolverine, for sure you know what i mean and it's like i never knew that i would have wanted to see i mean i'll take me that I, of course, want to see Wolverine. I mean, who you Jackman as Wolverine mm. at any time. Mm. However, after Logan, you're like, okay, I'm good. Mm. We're good. This ended. Mm-hmm. And it was very simple the way they did bring him back. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because obviously it wasn't that Wolverine who had died. Mm-hmm. Being that you're doing with the multiverse, you can bring back any version of Wolverine. So therefore, because of that, it was very simple. But he still held on to that gravitas. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. He still held on to that gravitas. I like the fact that it wasn't just like the I'm a kick ass Wolverine. Mm. It was like, yo, he's not perfect. He had a story to tell. And yeah. I just like wish that they would have given him a lot more air for that. Mm. Um, but yeah, I mean, listen, Deadpool. Yeah. Ryan, Reynolds, Ryan Reynolds is Deadpool. Ryan, he, yeah, was Ryan, yeah. he was born out the womb to play Deadpool. He was born for that role. And of course, I'll give the acting a 9 out of 10 just for those two individuals, that two characters that played um, what, uh, Deadpool and Wolverine. But overall, <laughs> you know, it's, I can't. I think can we'll give it a 10 out of 10. Yeah, definitely. I, yeah, they, they, I was they, pretty they, pleased. They, 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 I think I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. I really yeah. didn't find a weak a weak spot for both performance mm-hmm. for either both of them or even the supporting cast mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. oh 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 action i know you love it uh and the geeking and I know everything I it. <laughs> that surrounded it it was straight out crazy yeah i mean this has been one of the most exciting thing as a fan since freaking Endgame. And I was geeking all the entire time yeah. on, on Endgame. I mean, don't get me you wrong. I, mean? I think I think we were really hyped for MN3, mm-hmm. even though that failed expectations. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, 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 I give it to you. Yeah, and, yeah. And, Endgame levels. And, and in a sense of like just delivering, mm-hmm. okay? Mm-hmm. Story aside, mm-hmm. but in a sense of just delivering 
enjoyment. Yeah, definitely. It was an enjoyable mm-hmm. film. Mm-hmm. And that had to do with the action. Now, granted, again, could we have scaled the action a little bit down so that we could have got a little bit more of a story? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. But we got what we got. Mm-hmm. So, because we got what we got, was it execu- uh, executed well? Yes. Yeah, first thing, let me just say the intro of the movie was fucking. Oh fire. my God. I meant to it play in sync on Who Way. I was. First of all, the their music was, also, their mm. soundtrack. I'm actually going to look up their soundtrack and start playing Yo, those hits because it spoke to the 80s baby in me. It spoke to the 90s kid in me. Okay, in sync, oh a, like a version, like I, that's the me, intro, I ain't gonna hold you. The intro had me gagging for the whole entire Oh man, time. it was dope. It was dope. It had it me was dope. cackling like a- It was dope. Cackling like a, like a rooster. Yep, it was dope. If roosters cackle. <laughs> stupid. But yo, bro. trust me, yo, this the, the the action scenes, the fight scenes, the blood, the the, the gut spilling, and I, that's what it is. I love that. Yeah. I love that for yeah. especially like comic book movies, like like such as um Deadpool, you know, and and one and two, one and few um comic book movies that deserves that 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 kind of look to and, it. And, spe- I mean? and speaking of which, I'm glad that Disney did not tone it down. Yeah, because I know that I'm that so was all that our did. fear and even though they said no it's not going to be toned down there was many reports about no it's not going to be toned down mm-hmm. we still were like it's Disney Disney you yeah, know what I mean yeah. but like nah Disney came to play play mm-hmm. and he said okay we see you adults and we're going to hold that line for you mm-hmm. I appreciate you yep. let's go with some scary shit now yep and they brought it and of course the Odyssey seat the Odyssey the Honda Odyssey fight scene was wonderful it was redundant it it to me it was creative think, it was yeah, creative it was creative that that's the thing but it was redundant just the fight just the fighting and everything and i'm talking on an action perspective it was redundant. really good it was really played well yes but if yeah, agreed i done done to the to the movie itself yes but the fight scene in that in in the in the honda odyssey was pretty good it was well done the fighting how everything, you know, how uh, Hugh Jackman was fighting Wolverine and how he used like the elements within the in the vehicle to fight, and, and that was really good. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I can give it, but was it um, basically important for the story? Not really. No. You know what I mean? It, no. It, it just and you basically got two immortals. That one thing was very clear, mm. as far as I can remember. In other movies with Deadpool and in other movies with Wolverine, when they got some serious ass... No, I take that back, because only the Wolverine was mm-hmm. really his regenerative was slowed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I feel like Deadpool, like when he got lens cut off or whatever, it took a while, it for, took him a while for him yeah. to grow. To grow, yeah. Or even when he got serious, like he would hit his hand, sometimes it would come back up, but then yeah, but sometimes it would just... Small hand, yeah, sometimes it, 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 um, um, the break would not come right away. Mm-hmm. So obviously yeah. they, you know, jumped over that jumped glitch. Jumped over that, yeah. Um, but like I said, I, I agree with you, but it, it, there was times where it was really done. Yeah. It was times I, I was like, okay, can, can we get on with the show? Mm. Can we get on with the movie? Well, for me, you know, the, the action scenes to me, I'd give it a 10 out of 10 just for the action scenes. And then, you know, just to push the stories aside, basically, just the action scenes was wonderful to me. The cameo, the geeking of the movie with the cameos and everything that needed as a, as a, as a, um, a comic book fan. I was enjoying every moment of it. So, 10 out of 10 for me. I wanted to see more of the, the ex- Blade. Yes. I see X-Men. Of those. I see, yes. G- of Gambit. But, I want, they, get, they showed us a little bit. Yeah. But they did but, not show but, us But, you enough. know, but I think, that, uh, to me, I think that they would be veering off to the idea of the movie if they had shown too much of these cameos. You're not to me. wrong. But, you know. But Why you have me right for that? Yeah. I still want to see but that though. Me, but for me, I'd, I'd give the I'd give the, the action and the geeking a ten out of ten. You? I'm between a nine and a ten. All right. Nine <laughs> or a, ten. I'm between a nine and a ten. Nine and a ten. There you go. This is what I'm talking about. The visual effects didn't bother me. Uh, the visual effects was actually mm-hmm. good. Um, they didn't bother me at all. I love the the, um, the the variant scenes with the different Deadpool's. I love that. <coughs> um, also, one of the the, the the great one of the good things I like 
um, about this was um, the scene that I admire was the, the, the comic book uh, with the comic book pose actually I should say with them jumping out the back of the bus mm -hmm. and they're posing like I, I love that scene that was a wonderful <laughs> wonderful comic book look that took that tickled you know your I mean? heart yeah that <laughs> definitely was um but overall the visual effects was was pretty good it was pretty you know on point okay you know I have no issues with the visual effects um I definitely give it a 10 out of 10 for me I agree with that mm -hmm. um even though again that Deadpool Deadpool's scene mm -hmm. I'm hoping, <laughs> talking about visual effects, mm -hmm. I am hoping when Ryan was allowing the dog to kiss him, yeah. I'm hoping that was a visual effect. <laughs> Please, Marvel God. Yeah. But overall, that but, was but, you know, and one of the things that I saw in the movie that, um, that I was like, that looks so fucking cool is when Cassandra had it, put her hands into the Bro. person's skin. And she did it and all different ways with different yeah, people too. Out the eye, out the eat, like poking through the. I was like, yeah, okay, yeah, was, I'm, I'm was here for that. Sick. That was crazy. I'm here for that. I I love that. Uh, so you know, for me, visual effects was a ten. Nah, I agree. A ten out of ten, straight flat. You know, definitely. I feel like the only thing that's really lagging was the story, because I mean, everything else that we we, we put together. Yeah, it's just the story. Yeah. Um, of course, uh, you know, as I say, and I question it. Is this the end of the timeline? Um, of course, guys, let us know what you think. Just give us your own views. Mm -hmm. But the timeline, I, I never I understood the timeline. Um, I'm not sure if this is the ending of the timeline. And, of course, they had um, announced last night at Comic-Con that Robert Downey Jr. is going to be, be Doom. Coming, coming back as Doom. Mm -hmm. Which I think, to me, I think that, uh, why, you know just use someone else yeah or you know why is it gonna be a good fit probably um, but it's, our, it's our, rdj but yeah and, yeah and and, and I the agree. fact that um jonathan majors is out totally uh, he is it, kicking himself in the ass oh. i know he's kicking his mm. but anyway. you know that's uh, that's another conversation for another time so it but, is um yeah this movie was pretty <laughs> was pretty solid um, however, the story kind of pushed me back a little bit. Um, I didn't like the story. I didn't understand where it was going to, and what's the whole idea behind the story, or what is it going? What it does it mean for the MCU in the future? Mm. But I guess you know. I guess everything is at, at zero now. You know, since they announced that Doom is gonna be the next body for um, this MCU. Yeah. You know what I mean? But overall, I give. Um, Deadpool and Wolverine a 7 out of 10. You know, straight flat. I've been right in between with everything. I, I don't flat. know if I would give it a 7. I definitely wouldn't give it a 9 because like I said, that story lags the score down to mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know if I would give it an 8 either. So I think I'm just going to go in the middle and just give it an 8 um, okay. because everything else was just so strong. Mm -hmm. Everything else was just so strong. Okay. You know what I mean? They were near perfect stories of what we were talking about yeah. and just near perfect to us and execution and everything else. So like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to give it an eight. Yeah. I'm going to give it an eight. And why I give it a seven is basic, basically because of the story. I am a person who is big on story. If you can sucker me in with a good story to get me interested in the movie itself, I'm 100% for it. Um, and it don't necessarily have to be about action action that seems like it's rearing off into a, a Snyder thing you get what I'm saying and I don't want to yes. I truly yeah. don't um, thank I, I'm, god they I'm didn't not, do overload slow-mo yeah I'm not that crazy over action and visual effects and eye candy over story mm -hmm. I gotta see story then I can put um, eye candy um, with it as well yeah. so that's just why I'd give it a 7 and that's fair over, um, that's yeah, fair def definitely but of course, guys, tell us what you guys think. Um, of course, this is a spoiler review. Um, of course, let us know what you think about the movie itself. Talk to me. Talk to us in the comment section. Um, let us know what you you know what you like, what you don't like. That's right. And if this is your first time, don't let it be your last. Hit that subscribe button. Put the notifications on so you know when we drop our next video. And give us a like because that helps out our algorithm yes, a lot. Definitely. All right. Visit us on TikTok and IG. Geek by Geek heart. By heart. I am Lainey. And I'm Jay. We will see you in the next video. Peace. Peace to God. Peace to God.